Hello. In this lesson, we're going to multiply out the bracket and simplify the result. We begin with 3 multiplied by 8 plus 5, and the 8 plus 5 is in brackets. So we're going to multiply the outside term by everything inside the brackets. So 3 times x added to 3 times 5. The 3 times x we write as 3x, and the 3 times 5 is 15. So the expansion is 3x plus 15. For question B, we have two lots of y minus 6. So we'll begin by 2 times y. Take away 2 times 6. So again, we're multiplying everything on the outside by every term on the inside. So 2 times y is 2y and 2 times 6 is 12. The expansion is 2y minus 12. For question C, we have 5 multiplied by the brackets 4 minus a. So 5 times 4 is 20. Take away the 5 times the a, which is 5 times a. So we have 20 minus 5a. Remember, in algebra, we don't write the times symbol. So 5 times a, we write as 5a. For question D, we've got 3 multiplied by 2x plus 4, and the 2x plus 4 are in brackets. So 3 times 2x, and 3 times 4. 3 times 2 is 6, so that becomes 6x, and 3 times 4 is 12. So the expansion is 6x add 12. For question E, we have 6 lots of 10 plus 5g. So we have 6 multiplied by 10, and then 6 multiplied by the 5g. So 6 times 10, we know it's 60, and the 6 times 5 is 30, but it's 5g, so it is 60 plus 30g. And question F. For question F, we are going to work out each bracket in turn, and then we will add or collect the like terms together. So we have five lots of x plus seven, plus three lots of eight minus x. So we have five times x, plus five times the seven, plus the three times the eight, and then we have three times negative x, which is negative three x. We will simplify each term. So 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 7 is 35. 3 times 8 is 24. And 3 times x is 3x. Now we can collect the like terms. 5x take away 3x makes 2x. 35 add 24 is 59. So we have 2x plus 59. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful and check out Mr. Mathematics for a full lesson and worksheet.